What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Cole Stride here, and welcome back to Code Vein. Like I promised, I would actually look around and see if I could actually try to find that last vestige. And uh, that locked door that was right at the beginning of this area, I was looking through and I was seeing a ladder, so I was actually looking to see if there was like any drop-offs anywhere and whatnot. And lo and behold, right here, I missed it. There's a drop-off, and there's the vestige all the way down there, going red. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's get down here. This path was an option too, huh? Hmm. Get this item. Anti-freeze tonic. Drop down here. I see so. What are you doing? Hey, that's There it is. Technically too, um, you could probably tell by uh Hiding, huh? You can actually probably tell by the item, like the it said vestige part A. If uh, depending on where you're, uh, what letter it is, it actually probably tell you if it's in the beginning, probably in the area, or in the middle, or whatnot, or at the end. So it's always good to keep that in mind, probably, because I think that's how it actually goes. And we got two down revenant summoner. I rarely see those type of enemies. I'm surprised there ain't actually more of those type of enemies around here. Not bad, not bad. Kinda wish I could face more of those guys. Got a few on chrome. And we got our... Rotten Missile right here. That's the last one. And what do we got in here? Regen Activation Factor. Oh hell yeah. That is beautiful. I will take that. Increase my healing ability. And unlock. Yep, but um, what we're going to be doing is going to face that boss now, since we found the last vestige, so, yep. Because one thing I noticed, too, if you don't have, I don't, I don't know if it's true or not, but, uh, like how we did with, um, Aurora, uh, Valentino, if, if we didn't have all her past memories, I don't think we were be able to restore when she turned to stone, so, it's kind of interesting, I wonder if that's actually true or not. And if it is, I mean, yeah, we kind of miss out a little bit, but, but I don't want to miss any memories for any of these, um, these, uh, successors, because, I mean, they're a huge, uh, part of the story, so I don't want to not uh, collect anybody's memories. So, yeah, go this way. What the hell? <laughs> I'm gonna start paying attention a lot more. I right, know you're gonna come out of that. I know you are. Got you a backstab. Looks like I could use some extra eye core anyways. Ow. I could use some extra eye core for the uh, bo um, boss of my head, so. What is your name this time? This is also another thing I came up um, with an idea. Um, the fact that there's apparently two two different people that are at like IO that have different names. I don't know if it's IO actually, or if she has actually twins. I don't know, or <laughs> multiples of herself. Because that girl that was with Jack seems to be similar to IO, besides the scars on her face, and maybe different color strands of hair a little bit but she has the same kind of blood veil as I would have looks similar so I kind of wonder if I don't know if there's multiple copies of I.O. somewhere and they're the ones that are protecting the Queen's blood huh and also I pointed out I didn't point this out but before when we faced the Insatiable Dispot, when we first, uh, well, the second time we seen Jack, when he was trying to insert the blue vestige into the friend that he, uh, the woman that he was with, 
I wonder if that was actually a successor that he killed. Because that was a blue vestige, which is kind of interesting, but we didn't know anything about that vestige, unfortunately. So, well, little food for thought. So, we only got two here, so, yeah. Guess there ain't one, unfortunately. See what these are. Nicola, what are you doing? Practicing swordsmanship. I'm gonna be a knight someday. Wow, that sounds like fun. How about a match with me then? Really? Don't be too hard on me, Mia. You little, you little bullies, bullies. Get, out get out of here! Out of here. Nicola, Nicola, are you, are you okay? okay? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay. okay. I'm, I'm fine. fine. But you, you had to come in come and in save me again, again, Mia. To train, to train and get stronger. And get stronger. I, have I have to be able to, to protect, protect you someday. someday. I've been waiting for you. Please, spin a thread of memory for me. What are those things? What happened here? Mia, watch out! Very lucky, lucky young, young man. man. You've, You've been, been reborn. reborn. Where's, Where's Mia? Mia? Now, now, now there's, there's no, no need, need to, worry. to worry. We can bring, bring her back, back too, too, I promise. I promise. Nicola's, Nicola's exam, exam results, results came, came in. in. He does, he does have, have successor, successor potential. potential. Successor? But his, but his numbers, numbers really aren't, aren't all that, that high. high. They pass, they pass yes, yes, but just, just barely. barely. True. True. The, rest the rest would have, would to, have depend to depend on, on him. him. So that was all of them. So we should be okay to face him now. Because I think we have all his memories. It's at least the ones I could find in this area. <laughs> Even though I'm surprised there wasn't a one, surprisingly. Just kind of confusing, but, eh. Well, unless 
maybe his vestige is the one, really. <laughs> We're just sewing together his memories so we can uh, bring him back. I've been waiting. Please, spin the thread of the memory for me. Alright, we got. Uh, you do not have any vestiges to repair, so we're good. Alright. Nicola. Let's go. It's a successor. No. Nicola. Mia. I won't give up. He's been here, fighting against the urge to frenzy all this time. It's incredible. Tough kid. I'm sorry, Nicola. I never realized... ...that your sister is here now! I'm here! Here we go. This is going to be interesting. Got to power up radio off the bat. <laughs> I'm probably going to give. Let's do bring it any time. It's a sister of the breath. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Now I know what I gotta do. Gotta do, gotta do. Hmm. Oh, might some of these guys. Oh, oh. Yeah, come on up real quick. No harm in being prepared. Get the backstab on you guys. Thank you. Let me get him too. Before I go in, bring it any time. Oh, my God. 
ass. Oh, may you rest in peace. Raider lost dispersed. Thank you. You were the one taking care of me all along. Nicola, I'm so sorry. Okay, really. Thank you. When is, when is Mia, Mia going, going to wake, to wake up? up? No, no one, one can really can say, say for certain. certain. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, some, some never, never do wake, wake up. up. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Hmm. All right. All right. Still, You're still just, just a, kid. a kid. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. When, when I, become I become a successor, a successor I'll be I'll able to keep me a safe. safe. Anyway. anyway. I can't I just, just let, let the world, world be destroyed, destroyed before, before Mia, Mia wakes, wakes up, up, can I? Can I? I wonder if Mia's woken, woken up, up yet. yet. I hope I she's alright. All right. I'm, I'm fighting, fighting for you. For you. Get well, Get well soon, soon Mia. Mia. Is it really you, Mia? I'm so sorry. I left you all alone. It's okay. You didn't. Really, Mia? I'm just so glad you're finally awake. And hey, 
It looks like you've made a bunch of good friends. That's great. It's all thanks to you, Nicola. You were always at my side. That's what gave me the strength to keep fighting. That's why I'm here. You kept me safe all this time. You protected me and gave me courage. What more could I possibly hope for? Mia. Nicola Karnstein, my dear little brother, it seems you have truly become a knight. And you're the bravest, most noble knight of all. I love you, Nicola. <laughs> Thanks, Mia. <laughs> I... I love you too, sis. I can't, I can't believe, believe it. it. Mia? Nicola. Ah! <laughs> you sure have grown. Yeah, this is how I look now. But this form is much stronger. I really don't know how I can repay you for all that you've done. I owe you so much, everything really, and yet I have nothing to give you in return. I'd like to show my gratitude somehow, but in this shape. To be honest, I was hoping you'd come along with us, but you've only just been reunited with your family. It would be pretty cruel to break you two up again. You agree, right? They're gone. Mm. 
I... Listen, Nicola. There are still other successors out there. People like you fighting against themselves in order to survive. It would be a mistake for me to stop now. That's what I believe. Then go. Nicola. It's all right, sis. You've all given me so much strength. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. I'll come back for you, little brother. Hmm. Pion. Code owner Nicola Cardstein. We just high endurance and total weight. It's low e core can be offset with tough armor. And I have to really say after watching okay. that cutscene and whatnot. Let's go meet the next I swear to god I was getting like some full metal alchemist vibes there. <laughs> that because the um point that both Mia and Nicola are have blonde hair just like Ed and Al, but one's bound to a big armor, so <laughs> a big full metal alchemist little Easter egg. <laughs> if there ever was one. Maybe if there isn't, but still <laughs> Yep. Get a number on me, I'm not gonna lie. Fion, what abilities do you have? Preservance up. Increases fortitude. Uh, grave knocker, slam your foot into the ground, causing a shockwave. Hmm. Ice barrage shoots a variety of icy projectiles that bombard foes in a wide area. Crushing might temporary makes it easier to break an opponent's guard. Frost weapon. Uh, we kind of know what that does. Hammer Mastery, Focus Guard, increases weapon defense against physical attacks while you are focused. Bridge Shoes, enables you to use HP to perform actions when you have run out of stamina. Hmm, I bet. Then go. Then go. I just noticed too, yeah, um, during the cutscene he has that little hat on still. Kinda cute. Um... Let's see here, we got a survivor down there. Hmm. Let's go see what the survivor wants. Oh man, I forgot to just take the missile. <laughs> Teleport. I already kinda know where I have to go. Probably next is probably that door that we can get into. Uh let's see here. Let's go back to the beginning. Real quick. Let's see what the survivor wants. Play wants me to kill a bunch of monsters. What was it, bad? At least he can actually put up a good fight. <laughs> Bring it any time. So much fucking haze from that, Jesus. Probably got like 4,000 from those guys. Damn. Oh shit, I can't even go back up that way. <laughs> um, hmm. Interesting. So don't tell me I have to keep on going back and forth. I really hope not. <laughs> Let's say it would be a bad thing or ain't terrible, but I mean, shit. Well, I do like that ability. <laughs> you got something we can use? That back 
Step on. Civilian, what can I help you with? Yo! Bumming into you again here must be fate. I was just thinking about you. The path ahead is blocked by the lost. Oh, I'm almost at my wit's end. This place is all different, too. The lost are just the icing on the cake. If I knew it was gonna be like this, I doubt I would have come here looking for a place to live. Anyway, can you clear out that roadblock for me? Yep, sure. It's a big dude. Which I wish it would just come to me after I completed it, but I'll just use a, uh, what should we call it? I'll just use a, whatever they call that damn thing, uh, the vivifier. I was still human, it didn't snow here. There was a military facility. It's all turned upside down, just like the place I used to live. Regen inducer. <laughs> now I'll just use one of these. And then I'll fast travel to that one door we had to jump down all those damn ladders. That's the only place I could think of that we would have to go next. The only place left. Uh, teleport. Right here. Is that guy? Go down here, deal with the little ball things. This way, and then we jump on down. Ow! Some falls might be a lot further than they look. Hold on. I'll take a little bit of damage. Uh, ain't nothing to, nothing to sweat about. Heal up. Boop. Looks like we can't get in yet. What well, budge it seems to be held place by a device. Hmm, so we can't open that yet. Time to head on up. Hmm. Uh. God damn it. Keep on clicking the wrong button. <laughs> So if that's not the case, hmm, where do we go from here then? We can't open that door, which I thought we would have been able to open after, uh, what should we call it? After beating him. Hmm. Guess maybe we go back to base, maybe? I don't know. I do not know. It's kind of curious. Hmm. There 
everything here is open. Can't go nowhere else. Shit, the only place I could think of was back at base, because 100% everything. Unless there's like a cutscene waiting for us or something. <laughs> Kind of thinking there's a cutscene here. Could you fix this stuff up for us? Yikes, you must have seen some real action. Don't worry, I've got it taken care of. So what happened? Huh? You all look so happy, especially Mia. Oh, well, yeah. <sighs> what? What is she doing here? Please, Jack. You have to save Jack. She's about to frenzy. Let's take her to the back. We can shoot her there. How do you feel? I apologize for barging in like that. What's going on exactly? Do you know about the cavern underneath the cathedral? We... we were attacked there. Jack lured them away so that I could... <coughs> Slow down. Attacked? Wait, what were you doing down there in the first place? Our mission is the preservation of the successors and their relics. It is not a new phenomenon for successors to go into a frenzy. There has always been a need for someone to monitor them and to stop them if they ever begin to turn. A successor acts as a vessel for a relic, in both body and will. If that vessel breaks, it has to be replaced. That's why. That's why you were hunting for revenants? We considered every possible option. We truly did. But in the end, that was the only one that would work. I know it's no excuse for what we've done. Even if it was the only way. That is simply a burden I will have to live with. I will always carry them with me. I will never forget the faces and dreams of those who stepped forward to keep the relics safe. I suppose it really can't be all that easy to find a replacement vessel. That's why we're here to keep a constant eye on the condition of the other successors. Wait, you guys are successors too? Jack watches the successors for signs of frenzy, while I act as a temporary replacement until we can find someone suitable. 
My voice has the power to stave off Frenzy. For a time, at least. A temporary vessel. Hmm. I think I'm beginning to see. There's a successor resting in a crypt under the cathedral. We were traveling through the tunnels down there to check on them. I know I have no right to ask you for help, but... <coughs> it's all right. You rest here for now. We'll rescue Jack. I promise. Actually, I have a question. The successor whose crypt is under the cathedral, do you know who they are? I do. In addition to a number of other scientific endeavors, he was involved in Revenant research and an integral part of Project Queen. I believe you may have heard of him. Juzo Mido. Did you say... Mido? You know him? Yeah. He... He sold us out. Me and my entire family. Damn, that was a lot. <laughs> hey, I am. How you doing? Wait, more? <laughs> Leda, do you know of her? I heard she looks very similar to me. At some point, she simply vanished, leaving behind only a single vestige. Louis thought it might mean something, so he brought it to me. I know nothing about her, but I feel that I should. There are memories in this vestige. Please, could you show me? Successor. Who's there? Who's there? My name is Leda. I am an attendant, here to serve and support you in your task. I see. But even so, I'm sorry. I cannot allow you to come inside. I understand, and it will not be a problem. I will stay and attend to you from out here. In that case, do you think you could talk with me for a while? That woman! Is she the hunter? What is she doing here? Leda? Where did you go? Do not worry, successor. I have performed my duty and dealt with the intruder. They will not be able to revive now that they have been turned to ash. That's... Driving them off is enough, isn't it? Why did you have to go so far? My duty, My duty is to is protect, protect and defend you. I must, I must ensure, ensure threats, threats are completely repelled before, before they have a chance to cause you harm. As the As successor of the ribcage, rib I, I order you to you stop, stop hunting revenants, revenants immediately. immediately. No. no. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry successor, successor, but I will I do, do what, what must be done. done. That is that my is purpose. purpose. Later. Later. Another intruder has been repelled. Successor? It looks like I won't be able to remain myself for much longer. Thank you for everything. Later. When that time comes, my only regret is leaving you all alone. 
You've always been so unerringly steadfast. I... I do not understand. I have performed my duty. I have done everything I was supposed to do. Everything I was supposed to do to protect my successor. An attendant of the relics, one who stands by and serves a successor. It is the same for me. My duty is to stand by your side and lend you my support, just as she did for her successor. We were created with the same purpose. That attendant, Leda, she was a defender of sacred ground. I am certain she fulfilled her duty until the end. Yes, she fulfilled her duty, and yet... I'm not sure how to describe what I'm feeling. It seems so... empty somehow. Her life was consumed entirely by her mission. Leda... I... I want to know more. All this time I've been blindly following my duty, but is what I'm doing really the right thing? What is my true purpose in life? If I am with you, I may be able to find the answers to some of my questions, just as I did now. I realize that what I ask you now may not be part of my duty. Still, I feel I must ask it of you nevertheless. Please, will you... Will you permit me to go with you in your future travels? Are you sure? Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I shall do my best. God, that answered a lot of questions. Uh, some of the questions. <laughs> so, pretty much... Io pretty much has a bunch of twins that are pretty much guardians to the successors. Which, kind of thinking, am I a successor, pretty much? For the most part? Um... That's the way it feels like, at least. But, um, yeah. That was a lot to take in. But, uh, I'm probably gonna end it here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, it's always appreciated if you leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll probably, um, once I end this episode, I'm probably gonna go back to the successor of the breath and see if the other, um, I don't know what her name was, but the other IO that was there, I wanna see if she left a vestige or something. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next part.